L-D-W-M-M-A-C. This is your boy, The Coach You're Live, Live, Live on The Coach You Show, The Coach You Show Live. Okay, folks, y'all know, let's take this ride with the coach. What in the hell is wrong with the ladies in WMMA? Like, what, what the hell? Now we got Juliana Pena, okay? First it was Valentina, now it's, now it's Juliana, okay? Juliana Pena, you know, sits down and goes, oh, well, Amanda Nunez not the real GOAT. I'm the real GOAT. And, you know, here are the reasons of Juliana Pena, okay? Because you have to either, you have beat me down or knock me out, or you got to stop me in order to beat me. Okay, well, if that's the case, then Valentina's the GOAT. Because Valentina made your ass tap out. Jermaine Duranda may choke you out. So, I mean, Juliana, how are you going to explain this? How are you going to explain this? Valentina made you tap. Jermaine Duranda may put you to sleep. Who's a real goat? I mean, look, man. I get it. Juliana, you know, one us talking about her. I get it. I understand because there's no way that this girl can have a brain in her damn head and believe the dumb shit that she just said. <coughs> Excuse me. There's no way that a girl, this girl can have a brain in her damn head. There's no way. Like, I don't get it, okay? You had your opportunity for your rematch. You got injured, okay? You got injured. Arena Aldani came in, took your spot. Okay, like, what are you going to say? Your opportunity to fight Amanda Nunez in a trilogy has come and gone. It's coming on. Like you, like what what? <laughs> you got problems, Juliana. You are gonna have to face a lot of these women in a 135 pound division to own the right to get that belt. Okay? That's just the way that is. That's just the way that is. So I, I mean, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with these women. Like, did, did everybody wake up, bump their damn head? Like, I don't know. It's just it, it seems like Okay, I get it, okay? You guys want to fight Amanda Nunes bad as hell. I get it, but, you know, I can't come on here. And then you people, these women, they're coming on here. You're disrespecting the legacy of a great fighter. I'm sorry, like, y'all, I mean, a lot of people don't like Amanda, but you cannot take away from the work that she's done on her resume. Like, the shit is starting to get ridiculous to me. It's starting to get ridiculous. No, I don't co-sign it. I rocks with Juliana Pena, and guess what? I don't co-sign this shit either. I don't co-sign this either. I'm sorry, what's right is right. Like, you can't claim yourself the GOAT when, number one, you got Jermaine, uh, you got Jermaine Duranda may problems. Jermaine Duranda may put you to sleep in front of the world. Juliana, you still got Valentina problems. Valentina put your ass to, I mean, she made you tap out in front of the world. You still got problems. Like, it, it, it's just, it, it's baffling to me. And then you're booing. Amanda's giving a speech and you're booing. Like, what, what the? Did you not know Amanda split your fucking forehead open? Like, she split your wig wide open. And you running off at the mouth. Amanda could probably get, look, this version of Amanda Nunes could beat damn near anybody in the sport. Can beat any female in the damn sport. This version of Amanda Nunez right here. Easy work. She made easy work out of Rene Ardania. The second time around, she made easy work out of you, Juliana. I'm talking about she split your wig. She split your head open, your forehead. I, I don't know. Like, I get it. We don't like Amanda. Okay? Would I have liked Irene Ardania to win the fight? Hell yeah. But you have to tell the truth. Guys, I'm, I'm biased as hell, but I'm balanced. Amanda Nunez got the best resume in WMMA. I don't care if you hate Amanda. I don't care if you don't agree with that. But, okay, who's got a better resume than uh, uh, Amanda Nunez? Who? I mean, just, just tell me one. Who resume can you legit put up here and side-by-side -side compare Who's got the better resume? Like, guys, I'm sorry. Nobody's touching Amanda's resume. Nobody. And, Juliana, you sitting up here. I mean, I know what you're doing. You're trying to drum up interest, interest for a fight. 
Amanda Nunes done retired. She split your forehead and she got out the game. I'm talking about she split your forehead down to the damn white meat. You can damn near see Juliana thoughts. And maybe you thought you shouldn't have. I don't know. Maybe you thought that you had Amanda beat. Maybe you thought that you got inside of Amanda's head. That you could whoop Amanda's ass. Like maybe. May maybe you did. Then Juliana, I give you your credit in the first fight. I'm not going to run around here and say, oh, Amanda wasn't ready. Nope. Amanda got her ass whooped in that first fight. Amanda Nunez got her ass whooped in that first fight. Okay, that, look, I'm taking nothing from Juliana Pena. But the woman came back and avenged that loss. She came back and avenged it. And she did it impressively. Like, Juliana, you didn't even win a round against Nunez. Not one damn round. And it's crazy how this woman, Amanda, has evolved in the sport. She's evolved like, okay, it is what it is. Amanda Nunez out the game. Valentina, you can say you don't like her. She's a horrible person. Don't matter. She beat you twice. And this is the reality of the conversation that we got to start having with some of these fighters. I get it. A reporter asked a question. These reporters, they need to stop asking this stupid shit. Especially in Valentina. Case. Like, Valentina got Grazo problems. And if I'm Valentina, I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm focused on Alexa Grazo. My issue right now is with Grazo. When I'm done with Grazo, then if Nunez want to get it, then Nunez can get it. I'll take care of that also. See, that's what needs to happen. The fighter that I'm focused on right now is Alexa Grazo. And if Nunez want it, she can get it. And when I'm done with Grazo, I'll take, I'll take care of Nunez. Nunez, I'll take care of that also. That's what needs to be said. Juliana Pena ain't got to pop the piss in. Amanda took your belt. She took your belt. And then... She started putting your forehead all over her Instagram. Like, I, and I'm not here bashing Juliana. I'm not bashing Valentina, but God, do some, are some of you people thinking, man, man, you sitting here, man, you bashing them. I'm not bashing them. I'm not bashing them. I just don't co-sign with the shit that's coming out of their mouth. Can I do that? Like, can I fucking disagree with what these people are saying? I mean, can I fucking disagree? Is that okay? Man, you don't like them no more? Shut the hell up. Man, I don't know why you saying that, man. I don't know why you saying that about Valentino. I don't know, I don't know why you saying that about you. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. I know what I'm saying. I get what I'm saying. Okay? Like, guys, I don't co-sign. I mean, uh, Juliana, you're not the GOAT. Okay, that means you're better than Cyborg. No. Juliana, you don't have a better resume than Cyborg. Juliana, you don't have a better resume than Valentina. Valentina got you on her resume. How the fuck are you to go? Hell, I don't even think your resume, you know, pound for pound better than Rose Nama Yunus. I mean, Juliana, I don't even think you're better than Bojangocek. Bojangocek defended the belt six times. Got six title defenses. Juliana, you lost on your first title defense. How the hell are you the GOAT? See, this is the kind of dumb stuff that, that we have to talk about. They need to shut up and they need to focus on the person they got in front of them. It's time. Like, y'all doing too much. Juliana, you're doing too much. Shut the hell up. Shut your damn mouth. Get up in there and do what you got to do. Damn, it's okay. You lost. The hell, it happens. It happens in MMA. Okay, it happens. And losing in MMA is common. Pe people lose. I mean, I respect Chris Cyborg. Chris Cyborg lost. <laughs> but she ain't running around here saying, you know, she ain't running around here with salt. And Chris was like, okay, let's fight again. She not running Amanda Nunez's name in the ground. She's saying, look, I lost. Chris Cyborg seemed to be the only person that can take a L and really own up to that shit. I may not disagree with everything Chris do, but I respect the hell out of Chris Cyborg because she's willing to admit that, hey, I lost the fight. But I'm willing to go out here and learn it and fill in the gaps in my game. That's why I can rock with Chris Cyborg. I can't do that when you lose a fight, then you come out and you start getting your ass on social media and start just running off at the mouth and, oh, I really didn't lose the fight. Like, look, delusion. Next, Juliana P ain't going to say the judges robbed her in the second fight versus Nunez. See, I always wonder, why don't Juliana, like, why don't she, like, point blank just say, 
Well, I was robbed. <laughs> because Juliana Pena know that everybody named Mama gonna come again. Ain't nobody gonna agree that Juliana beat a man in the second fight. I mean, yeah, you went the distance. Yeah, you got a tough chin. That don't mean shit. There's plenty of dudes in here with tough chins, but they get their ass whooped. You see, Juliana, Amanda Nunes turns you into a punching bag. And when I say a punching bag, like legit, Amanda treated you like a punching bag because you stood right in front of Amanda Nunes and Amanda Nunes punished you. For five rounds straight, she punished the shit out of you. And there was nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing that you could do about it. It's not a damn thing you could have did about it. You stood there and like the, like, like, like the contender you were, okay, or the title holder or whatever, Amanda treated you like you were nothing. And she took, you took a beat down. And Amanda said, <laughs> it should have been you up in here getting his ass whooping when she beat Irene Aldean. It should have been you up in here getting his ass whooping. I mean, it is what it is. To say Amanda not to go, I, I think it's just stupid. At this point, you're trolling. Just dumb, just dumb as hell. You can't call yourself the GOAT. You ain't done shit to be a GOAT. Okay, I mean, hell. I mean, it's getting put to sleep by Jermaine Durant. Uh, Jermaine Durant. Does that make you a goat? Getting tapped out by Valentina. Does that make you a goat? Getting your wig split open by Amanda Nunes. Does that make you a goat? How to explain this? How you gonna explain this? I rock with Julianne opinion, but I don't rock with it on this one. So, Julianne, listen, listen to the video. You gonna have to. We gonna have to agree to disagree, and we are gonna keep this moving.